I'm Liam with Advanced Media and today I'm going to be reviewing the Australian brand Cream Sources Vortex 8. Now, just before we get into the video, let me tell you the main features. It's got an IP rating of 6.5, meaning it's fully dust and waterproof from every angle. It's an LED and it's got a white temperature between 2200 Kelvin to 15,000 Kelvin. It runs on 650 watts power and it's got a flicker speed of 5,000 frames per second. So for the specifics, it's a two by one frame and it weighs 15.6 kilograms. So the volume of this is around 317 centimeters cubed. The weight is probably the biggest con about the system, but the fact is all the specs of this just make it such a tank that it makes up for it on set. Now for the inputs and outputs. So to begin with, Nutrix connectors, your AC in. Now make sure that your cable Nutrix connector is waterproof to maintain the ecosystem. Second, we have a 48 volt DC in. Now, uh, this takes a four pin XLR. Um, now the positive about this is that you're able to use a battery pack lower than the wattage of 650. And to simply do that, you go to menu, go to fixture settings, and then to battery power limit, and you're able to lower the watts. And this can run at 100% brightness. Next, we have a DMX in and a DMX through. Now, if you like things the old fashioned way, I highly recommend you use these. Now you have an accessory port for Cream Source's uh, accessories, including their controls and their triggers. You have a USB port, which is for the firmware updates, but also for ethernet receivers. You also have a ethernet cable for ethernet ecosystems to run. Now the Vortex 8 takes Wi-Fi, Lumen Radio, Bluetooth, DMX and its own accessory port, also Ethernet. Now for the main menu. Well, first of all, the fan. The fan has five settings, meaning it has auto, quiet, medium, high, and pause. Now, medium to high is probably questionable on set once you're uh, recording audio. However, there is a pause setting which runs for around five minutes on 100% brightness. And then once it kicks in, it will go back to auto, which will leave it around quiet and medium. Got loads of color modes to, to direct the way you're used to working. So there's color temperature, hue saturation, density, RGBW, XY, and some gels, and the gel mixtures with the CCT. Now the effects, now the effects are the ones that you've seen before. These include parties, sync flash, paparazzi. I'm currently running it on the candle light mode. Now let me explain to you how you connect your controller to the system wirelessly. So you press on link and then you press on link on your controller. Okay. Then you find a fixture, fixture setup. Cream source, boom. Uh -huh. And that is it. You have now full control. Now, in terms of accessories, the Vortex 8 comes with many accessories that you can find on their website, including honeycombs and a dome diffuser. Now, it's really simple to slide in. And there are two slots, so you can fit two things. Now, as you can see, you can still see the lights, but if you were to have an extra one right behind it, that would go. Okay, that is it. Now, just one last thing, the name. It's called Vortex 8, because there are eight individual panels, eight in different light engines controlling this. Now, thank you very much. Hope you've enjoyed. And please comment if you have any questions. 
and our AMT team will get right back to you.